Now, yeah, but what is your rational justification? Shut your call. mouth down at the bottom there, or I'll put a nice piece of uh, red duct tape on your mouth. So, um, so you have, so you arbitrarily decided God doesn't exist? No. Good. Then on what grounds have you adopted that God doesn't exist? So, I basically function in the world as if God doesn't exist. I didn't ask you that. That's not an answer to my question. How did yeah, you decide so that right now, right now, your position is God because does you're, you're not putting, you're exist? You're putting words into you're putting some words. No, I'm mind, not. I think. Your position right now, this very second on terra firma, entails the falsity of God. Okay. So you said I have an implicit denial of God's existence. But right not, now, so your position to, necessarily entails the denial of God. Are we clear? Implicit denial and explicit denial. Right now, your things. position entails the denial of God, correct? Yes, I deny God. I deny God. I deny that Good. God is a necessary now, part how, of existence. How is it then that God does not exist? How did you determine that there is no God? It, this is uh, like this is like a bait and switch. I'm sorry, but it just is. It's not. It's not. It's not a bait and switch. In fact, this is a very strategic and careful analysis. No. Of what it's atheists not, say, man. no, and what in fact is what you're doing is the bait and switch. By invoking bait and switch, a bait and switch, you're trying to extra uh, uh, what ex extra uh, extricate. You're trying to extricate yourself from answering and defending what your position really is. So I'm going to ask you once again: how, how is it that God does not exist? So it, since I deny the existence of something, I'm not professing. A, a proclamation of its non-existence. Okay, it is for God. Well, it's already been rebutted anyway. Okay, listen very carefully. You can not accept the positive claim that there's gold on Mars without denying it. But you can't, you don't have that luxury when it comes to God because God is in a different category. God is in the category of what is uh, defined as, tra excuse me, I have hiccups, transcendentally necessary. Okay, so if you say that, oh, I, I indeed can be neutral toward God, then whatever you call God is not God. So you, I think that you can show that it's sufficient to be, like, the, it's a no, sufficient listen, foundation listen, for reality. You're doing how, bait and switch right how now. Do you how is it? it is your, does your position entail the falsity of God? I don't know what you mean by the falsity of God. Do you deny that God exists? Yeah, I, I deny it because – so the denial good, is basically – Now, it's, it's how is it a, that God does not – yeah, Denial – listen, dude, my patience is running out with you. Stop being devious and deceitful. Your position entails the denial of the existence of God. Are we, are we, are we clear? Can I just back away? From are we clear that your position entails the denial of God? Yes. Sure. Okay. How is it that God does not exist? Can I can I just back up for a second? How is it that, that God for... does not exist? Please answer the question. Wow. Uh, I think I can comfortably say I don't know, and we can move. No, on no, no, no. You can't I say know. I don't know because you've already decided God doesn't exist. You're an atheist, remember? You told us. Did you tell us you were an atheist? Well, maybe what he means is he's holding that God doesn't exist irrationally. Or maybe if you let him finish his response. No, what what I what I don't let people finish is because I've talked with thousands of atheists over the last ten years, and I'm well accustomed to their dodging and evasive tactics with double talk. Okay, I'm more than willing to let him finish as long as he's not attempting to segue down a semi-related rabbit trail and not address the question, which is what he's doing. So I'll ask the question again. How is it that God does not exist? Dude, I, I don't know. No, like, I don't you know what you no, want me to no, say. You, no, I don't, you, but, well, wait a, wait, a, wait a minute. If you say you don't know, 
then what you're saying Look, is I actually you can I get a lot. Do you hear me talking? Well, well then, what, then, then, then you then you are espousing the denial of the existence of God irrationally and arbitrarily. Is that the case? Sure, man. You, if you want to call me irrational because I can't. No, I, that was a question, time. sir. I didn't call you something. That was a question. Are you advocating the non-existence of God uh, arbitrarily, irrationally? Are you? I don't think I am. Oh, then what is your rational justification that God does? You hear me talking? Listen, when you hear me talking, that's a signal to keep your lips shut. Now, yeah, but what is your you rational your justification? Shut your talk. mouth down at the bottom there, or I'll put a nice piece of uh, red duct tape on your mouth. Now, we're going to try again. How is it that God does not exist? You know, when you say, I don't know, well, wait a minute. That's the classical representation of agnosticism, not atheism, okay? So one minute you tell us you're an atheist, um, one minute you tell us you're denying God's existence, and then you go, oh, I don't know. And then you're now you're trying to pretend that you're neutral. Well, you're trying Didn't to I already explain to you? Did, okay, okay really listen to me. I'm not, I'm not pigeonholing you. I'm doing a careful step-by-step -step analysis of what you say. There's no pigeonholing here. Now, did I not cover why you can't be neutral toward God. Did I not go over that? Yeah, I think it's, uh, I don't think did it's- you offer, Did you offer a rebuttal? I'm not in a position of neutrality just whenever I say that I'm not convinced okay. about something, man. Listen to me carefully. We're not talking about anything. We're talking about God that is in the category of what is transcendentally necessary for all temporal states. Now, about did I not concept. explain to you, did I not explain to you in detail, painstakingly, why you can't be neutral toward God? Yeah. Did you, did you offer a rebuttal? No. Good. Then you deny the existence of God, since you're unwilling to affirm the necessity of referencing the necessity of God as the precondition of all temporal facts, since you're unwilling, that is a de facto implicit denial, because then you are invoking that facts can be invoked as actual and intelligible without reference to the necessity of God. And if you can invoke even one fact, if you tell me I can invoke one fact, that it exists, it possesses intelligibility without the necessity of referencing God, then from that it follows you deny the existence of God. Because in a God world, all temporal facts would necessitate referencing God as the precondition. So if there's one fact that does not need to reference the necessity of God, then God doesn't exist. Okay? It's very simple. When we define God, God is the ultimate, absolute precondition of all temporal facts. And if there's a temporal fact that doesn't necessitate standing in causal relations to God or referencing God, then it follows from that that God does not exist. It just sounded like you defined God into existence, though. That's what it sounded no, like. No, that's not. No, I didn't. See, you know what? You are a very slippery and deceitful young man. You're deceitful because that's not what I did. I simply defined God in the category of being ultimate and absolute. I didn't say that that God did or did not exist. Now, are we clear that you cannot be neutral toward God as creator? If you're, if you're willing to affirm God as the necessary precondition of all facts, then you are affirming God. If you're unwilling to reference God as the precondition of all facts, then you are denying the existence of God. Are we clear? Uh, yeah, I'm, I guess I'll deny the existence of God because I don't know how you justify claiming that... Um that he actually is a necessary. Okay. Okay. How, how is it that God doesn't exist? 
since now. I, I don't know, that, but I don't. No, well, no. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Your position is not God. That there is no God. Okay, that's both a positive and a negative. If I assert the existence of God, that's not only a universal positive; it's also a universal negative. That means that there is no not God world. Okay. So if you say not God, that's both a positive and a universal statement, excuse me, and a negative statement. Okay. Every positive statement is also a denial of its negation. The bottom line is your position is that God does not exist. Are we clear? I have a, so my position is about my, my own belief. Are we clear that your position upon analysis entails the denial of the existence of God, either directly or indirectly? Yeah, I, indirectly, I, I guess I reject God. because Good. So, okay, so it makes no difference whether it's a direct or an indirect denial. So your position is that God does doesn't those, exist. Doesn't your position is that God doesn't exist. Are we clear? Um, I don't. I, I don't agree with that, though. Oh, so God does exist? Exist? No, I. I didn't say that. Okay. D okay. Have I not explained this to you multiple times? No, Darth. That you what? cannot be neutral toward God. Did what I not explain this to you several times? Darth, what he's trying to disagree with is that a indirect denial is just as much a denial as a direct denial. Well, we've already covered that because that that he obviously he couldn't be that stupid. Now, an indirect denial is every month. Look, if, if, if there's only two kinds of temporal facts in existence, okay? Either a temporal fact is a created fact, meaning that it stands in causal relations to God, or that temporal fact does not stand in causal relations to God, and therefore it's not a created fact, okay? So a fact is either a created fact or a not created fact. Are we clear? Um, okay. Now, if I say to um, Parakeet, right, is the Eiffel Tower um, a created fact? And he says, yes. That is an indirect and implicit assertion that God exists. Okay? Understand? Um. Because ultimate, because you're saying that because God constructed all of reality and the Eiffel Tower exists within reality? That's correct. So if Parakeet affirms that or he conceptualizes that the Eiffel Tower is a created fact, we're not talking about the assembly of the or the design of the Eiffel Tower, okay? If he acknowledges uh, it is a created fact as opposed to that it is it is not not a creative fact. We could call that a brute fact. It is a brute fact that simply exists without ultimate reference. Okay, so either a temporal fact has ult an ultimate reference in God, and that consequently it will be a creative fact, or the temporal fact will be a not created fact and a brute fact without re reference to God. Okay, so if parakeet affirms that the Eiffel Tower is a creative fact, his position entails the affirmation of God's existence indirectly. Consequently, if somebody says, no, I don't accept that the Eiffel Tower is a created fact, right, then that means then it's not created, right? It's a brute fact, meaning it is a fact that simply exists without ultimate reference. Okay, so either temporal facts will either reference the necessity of God or a temporal fact will be without referencing the necessity of God. And if somebody says temporal facts reference the necessity of God, then they are claiming God exists. If somebody says facts exist without referencing the necessity of God, that is the denial of God. Are we clear? Um. Yes. I, honestly, so no. See, I, I'm, I'm really, I'm actually sorry. Like, it's, 
it's hard to actually have this conversation right now. I, I actually haven't had this conversation in this manner before. You're like super aggressive, dude. No, and and you and you are devious and deceitful. I've been here for like three hours, and I don't think anybody would actually would peg me as uh, being intentionally deceitful. Maybe you weren't being deceitful then, that, but you're being deceitful with me. I don't think I am. I think you are. Because Just you know because why? I, whenever you I know say why? that I don't, that I'll, I don't I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because I know I I know the right questions to ask people to smoke atheists out and because atheists want to define their position in such a way to insulate themselves from having to defend what they really believe. And I've been doing this for years and I have detected long ago how devious and deceitful atheists were. So I designed these questions with precision in mind to smoke out the deception and to bring light uh, on the issue that you can't be neutral toward God. Okay. So are we clear? You can't be neutral toward God. Yeah, you can't be neutral towards God. Good. Do you affirm the existence of God? No. Good. Then you deny the existence of God. Mm, denial, yeah. Good. So how is it that God doesn't exist? I don't know. No, you don't have that luxury because you just you just contradicted yourself because a minute ago you told me you can't be neutral toward God. Oh, I know. You have motivated reasoning. You don't want there to be a God. So that's why you've adopted that there is no God. But then when we ask you, how is it there's no God? You go, oh, I don't know. So the real reason you're an atheist is not because you have rational grounds that God doesn't exist. You have motivated grounds, motivated reasoning. You don't want there to be a God because if you acknowledge God as creator and you're his creature, you are culpable to that God and you don't want to admit your guilt. Well, this is that's why, why I, I that's kind of why wanted... that's why you've been deceptive. You have yeah, motivated reasoning. Deceptive. I don't think I'm being deceptive. Well, then but. then you you believe God doesn't exist. I want to know why you believe there is no God. I, I don't believe God exists. Good. Tell me why there's no God. Yeah, I don't I don't really have um like I don't know why you're asking me to prove a negative, you know? <laughs> because, because you see that's your position. I'm asking you to prove. You see, you are a deceitful person. Everybody hear that? that that's the kind of slippery answer that I would expect from a lawyer. Okay? Not God is a negative position. And by the way, all positive statements are negative positions. They're denials of their negation. Are well, you aware of that? So from my, from my are you opinion. aware that all positive positions are denials of their negation? Uh, yeah, because it's a positive position. R r that that's right. So if what if I ask you to prove oh, a positive? I haven't, I haven't what if I ask you to prove a positive? Is that a, would that be acceptable okay. to you? Sure, but it, it might not. Good, be but you see, but you see, you just agreed that all positive positions are also negative positions. Well, it would follow from that you uh, accepted that, so dude, from, that from, from its direct from its direct contradiction. Positive. That's positive right. So yeah. So so, so in other words, oh, so in, so in, so in other words, negative. We don't we don't have to instantiate negative positions. Is that correct? No, I mean like so. A see when this you is say just, that a positive this, position. This is just double talk. Your position is that no, God doesn't exist. I want to know why you there's no God. Why have you decided that there's no – why have notion. you decided there is no God? Why do you keep asking I questions have not, and interrupting them? I think, I think that, the, that my understanding of the natural world doesn't necessitate God. Listen to me. Good. That it, that how did you determine – how did you de – listen carefully. It. Listen carefully, sir talks a lot. Okay. Whoa. How did you decide that all of the facts that you're acquainted with 
How did you de decide that all the facts that you were acquainted with do not necessitate standing in causal relations to God? How'd you decide that? Well, they seem to, you know, they seem to necessitate um, like causality, but I don't really see how that necessarily points to God. That's not an answer to my question. See, does everybody see the deceitful responses I keep getting? Can you ask your question again? I may have okay. misunderstood. How did you determine that all the facts that you're I don't see it. don't necessitate don't necessitate standing in causal relations to God. How, how did you decide that that facts are standalone without reference to God? Uh, well, I would say because facts are things that I, that I and others observe in our space of reality, and that you know the the facts are just there. How did you how did you stand? How did you decide that they don't necessitate standing in causal relations to God? How did you decide that? Well, I'm just not sure how they entail that. Where do they point to if not God? Where? You see, what you see here, it you point, go again. See, me, again, this is what you're know. attempting to do. Don't ever talk me. No, what wait, you, wait, no, no, the they answer, don't point. Darth, oh, if they how, point how to themselves, that? good. Then are all then are all the particulars in in the realm in the in in the set known as reality? Are are each of the particulars eternal and absolute within themselves? Um, so when you talk about the set of all things of reality, do you mean specifically like- Yeah, you said they don't need God. So do all the particulars of existence- I was asking okay, for clarification. Are they each and individually absolute and eternal in themselves? Fuck, dude. I'm waiting for an answer. Are all the particulars of existence? No, I, I actually, okay. I actually forgot the question because I wanted to ask. Are a all question, the particulars of existence eternal and absolute within themselves? I'm going to say no. Oh, okay. So, so all the particulars you of mean existence. There's physical representation what, okay, you know what? The, Get the, out of here, you you lying piece of garbage. You see, and people think I'm not patient. Okay. He, he never asked. I wanted to get rid. Of, I wanted to get rid of him, you know, twenty five minutes ago. But there's only so much deception that I'm just going to put up with. Okay. And people, and you, somebody said in here, "Oh, he was a stand up guy." That's right. Until he's asked the right kind of questions, and then it's like, um, uh, uh, and then and then then he flips the switch on the back of his neck where he goes into into deceit mode. How many times did you people in here at, hear me ask the same question over and over and over and over and over again? You never let him finish his response. You just kept interrupting. Uh, actually, I did let him finish, but he kept on, uh, you know, like a dog goes back to its vomit. He kept on regurgitating the, the same double talk responses that I had offered a rebuttal for. Okay. But when he was going to regurgitate over and over again, okay, his non-answers, I'm not going to let him repeat it and waste my time. Well, I think you were a little uh, rough. There. No, I dealt with him yesterday. He's a deceitful person. Have you dealt with him before? To... I have. You, you had to re-explain a lot of things that I already heard Tonlock explain to him multiple times. So, um, how many times I, I did you hear me? Of... How many times did you hear me ask a direct question to him, and it was explained over and over again? And every time he would open up his mouth, he would give a diversionary response that was not specific to my question. How many times did he do that? Virtually the whole time. Yeah, uh, real quick, would you uh, be able to mute Maxwell Edison? I don't know why he was muted, but um, yeah. Uh, somebody somebody was trolling, and I saw his mic uh, light up. So if it was not him, my apologies. No, I dealt with this guy yesterday, okay? You see, the one thing I've learned about atheists is this. When they're talking with certain people, they'll respond transparently as long as they don't feel the heat, okay? But when they start he he feeling the heat, I, mean, I don't mean aggressiveness, I mean precise questions 
that they don't like the dichotomy that's put to them, you know, A or not A, then they, then, then they go into deceptive mode, okay? See, he was playing his A game with you, okay? But when I started asking him questions, he goes to plan B, and that is to scuttle the interaction by being deceptive. And how many times have we seen that in here? Yeah. So the, 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 the guy, the guy de has demonstrated yesterday and today he's, he's deceptive. And on that note, I'm shuffling off to dinner, everyone. Mm -hmm.